Hello, everybody. This is a brief introduction into the performance measurement and incentives course for the accounting strategy and control concentration. My name is Christian Huber. I'm the lecturer of that course. I'll give you today a brief outline of what you expect from the course, some technicalities, some uh, things about the themes we will, we will cover. Let me briefly share my screen with you. The course uh, follows a clear theme. It is concerned with the questions around how to design an incentive plan. Why is this important? Incentives are absolutely essential for a number of organizational concerns, such as strategy implementation, staff turnover, cultural changes, motivation, work output, value creation, and other things. The course uh, will be in spring 2021. It will be one quarter, so roughly a month, 11 lectures, that's two lectures per week. So it's a short, quite intensive course, but I think also quite interesting. The aim of the course is to strengthen your competence in designing incentive systems in organizations. Uh, the course builds on courses before that, especially the accounting and control course in the first semester. The course, the PMI course, advances the discussion of multidimensional performance measures, target setting, evaluation, and compensation, all issues which are important for organizations. More disciplinary speaking, uh, if the accounting and control course is very strongly rooted in economics, then we will take this basis and add some insights from psychology and sociology into it. The learning objectives are that you should be able by the end of the course to explain, structure and combine various concepts, issues and models related to performance measures and measurement and incentives. You should be able to identify and analyze problems related to provision of incentives. And especially important, you should be able to critically reflect upon various design solutions. The point here is that there's not one best way to do performance measurement and incentives, but there are multiple ways to do it and multiple organizational challenges, decisions, situations, which need to be addressed through these performance measurement incentive systems. So it's about getting a, to know a repertoire of practices and then identifying the correct fit or the best fit among numerous possibilities. This slide gives you a very brief overview of the themes we will cover. If you look at the middle, the colored box, you see the performance information and reward punishment as the core aspects of a performance measurement and incentive system. You need to know how well or not well employees are doing performance information and then you need to incent incentives to reward good behavior good performance and punish or at least disreward uh, bad behavior now this graph should simply illustrate that this is not an easy task this is not just a technical calculation not a simple optimization problem rather a lot of factors influence how these systems work people, human sides, human emotions and psychologies, culture, social aspects, uh, sociology matter, organizational concerns, goals and targets all matter. Only when we understand how these different things interact and work together, we can try to implement a strategy through our performance measurement and incentive scheme, scheme in a way which fosters good, or at least meaningful, useful, actions and decisions and thereby create value. The lecture itself will be uh, a mixture of lectures in which we discuss a textbook and current research articles. The textbook is by Lazar and Gibbs, two of the uh, great scholars in uh, this field. But we will go beyond what you have had in uh, courses before by also engaging with research articles which are on a little higher level. So uh, this will give us an opportunity to look at very current research, but also help you develop skills in dealing with these texts, something which will be important for the following modules and courses, but also for your master thesis. We will then in each session also discuss a case which we will prepare beforehand at home, and then we'll, something we will discuss in class. 
The idea is here that we will not just discuss abstract systems which are general, don't we will reflect upon them uh, by applying them to real situations so you get an idea how these generalized ideas work in concrete practical uh, situations. The literature will be the set textbook and uh, a set of lit uh, papers which you can access via Canvas or CDS library depending on copyright. The, Harvard, uh, the cases will be available from a Harvard website. Now, finally, there's uh, uh, a few things to say about the exam, usually very interesting for students. Uh, that's an individual oral exam, 20 minutes preparation for doing that time open book, then 20 minutes examination. You'll get a list of questions beforehand and then draw one of these questions by a random procedure. Then it's a quite uh, short, maybe 20 minutes, uh, but quite intense debate, discussion, where you can show what you've taken away from the course. Should uh, the COVID-19 situation get worse again, we will convert the oral exam like we did last term into a two hour written exam. That's not our preferred options, but of course, public safety, your safety comes first. So finally, I'd like to say uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, I'll uh, make it possible for a Q&A uh, forum in the Canvas platform. So if you have any questions about content, technicalities or whatever, you can contact me. Other than that, thank you very much for your attention again, and I look forward to meeting you, hopefully in person.